Hi, welcome back to Two Real Chicks. I'm Cindy. I'm Carla. We're so glad you're here. And we asked you recently some of the things you would like to see on our channel in 2017. And one of the biggest responses was cleaning, organizing, life hacks, how to get your life and your home in order, out of chaos and decluttered. So we have come up with a list for you of 10 things you can throw away today. today. Not things that are going to take you all day long because one of the things that happens with me is I get overwhelmed. So trying to do a whole house in one day is overwhelming. Trying to do a room in one day is overwhelming. A closet. Sometimes just a corner is overwhelming. So these are all things that you can go through your house in a matter of minutes, get them all done today. First thing we have is old magazines. You know you've got them go through, find the old magazines. You can do two things with these. You can either recycle, recycle them, put them in your recycling yes. bin. But you had a great idea. Uh, yeah, we just can donate them to different shelters for some, you know, for reading, uh, to the nursing homes, mm -hmm. uh, any facility, assisted living. Just cut your address and your name off and then just donate them and then someone else can enjoy them. You can either recycle them, donate them, but you can get them out of your house today. That's right. Next thing you can get rid of today is mail, junk mail, excess mail. This, this is just one little pile that was laying by my bed and it's banking stuff. Well, I'm going to go through it and I'm going to shred what needs to be shredded. And the rest, if it's nothing that's personal information, is just going to get put into the recycling bin. Take 10 minutes, go, set your timer, go find your mail, either shred it or pitch it. You all know you have nail polish that's dried up. I'm sorry. I said guilty. Yes, I have dried up nail polish. But they were pretty. They were pretty. <laughs> they were but cute. they're not serving any purpose now. So they need to go to the trash. They just need to go to the trash. And it could even be a color that you thought you would like, but you don't. And if it is, you could put that into your donation pile too. Get it out of your house. You don't need it. Especially if it's dried up, you're not using it, you're not going to use it, it's taking up valuable space, and it's cluttering your life. Next, expired meds. Girl, when I was sick the other week, I went and I found some Dayquil in our medicine cabinet. I was so happy to find the Dayquil. What year was it? Y'all don't want to know the year. Uh-uh. It was 2011. Okay, I think it's expired. Do not pour it down the drain. No. No. It will contaminate the water system. The best thing to do with that is to either put it in a plastic bag and put it in the trash, or you can contact your locality and ask them if they have a medication recycling program. Many do, or they will take it it's usually on specific days of the year, but they'll take it and properly dispose of it. You can contact your a local hospital as well. Broken candles, candles that are three quarters of the way burned down, you know you're not going to use them. The candles that are kind of rank, just pitch them. Pitch them. Pitch them. Pitch them. Broken Christmas decorations. If the lights aren't working, pitch them. If the decorations are broken, pitch, pitch them. them. If the, something is cracked, if it doesn't have sentimental value, if it's not pretty, if it doesn't fit your decor, Pitch on. See the sock? It has a match. Somewhere in that centrifugal force in your dryer that just sucks, sucks the other sock. But she has a lone sock. I have a bag full of lone socks that I really thought perhaps they will all mingle together and I'll find their matches. You know what? I never did. These Poor little guys, no you're not going to make Pinterest sock puppets, no you're not going to make some project you saw online making a quilt out of socks, you know you're not going to do it. Toss it. Next something that you can go through and get done today is expired food. Now I'm not talking about cleaning out your refrigerator, that's another day. Not talking about cleaning out your pantry. 
that's another day. Don't want you to get overwhelmed today. You're just going to go through your fridge and your pantry and real quick, just like you did with the meds, look at the date. If it's expired, which I'm going to admit that I had a muffin mix from 2007 in my pantry that I didn't want to throw away because it was gourmet and very expensive and I had this grandiose Martha Stewart idea of making scones and it didn't happen. I pitched it. Expired food is not good to donate to a food pantry because no. they can't use it either. So out it goes. I have to admit I hang on to the weirdest stuff. <laughs> Broken and mismatched jewelry. I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> we all have. Broken and mismatched jewelry. Earrings that are missing. You have this darling earring and you can't find the match. And right. they're your favorite pair. Throw them away. You're not going to find the match. I'm sorry. Now, if they're real sterling silver or if it's real gold, you don't want to throw that away. You can take that and get it melted down and get a few pennies for it. Yes, I do have the tools to fix my jewelry. But, but you I don't have the time. I don't have time. And by getting rid of it, you're freeing up time, freeing up space. So if you have necklaces, bracelets, whatever, that have missing stones, missing jewels, things that are broken, just get rid of it. Get rid of it. In the trash, it goes. All right, next you're going to go into your underwear drawer and you're going to pitch your holy underwear. And I don't mean the kind you wear on Sunday. <laughs> underwear where the elastic is shot, there's holes in it, stains in them. Just get rid of them. Underwire bras where the underwire is poking out, and I say that from experience. The hooks on the back of your bra will bend and get all mangled and just pitch them. Pitch them. Pitch them. Pitch them. Have a little pitch dance. Just go, woo! There goes a bra. Woo! There goes some underwear. Your husband might get a little excited. Maybe that's a good thing. Have a, have a pitch party more often. Absolutely. Puts a little romance back into the bedroom. Did I just say that? You just said it. Whoops. Whoops. That's the 10 things for, for you to accomplish this week. You can in fact do it today. You could probably do all of this in about an hour's time because each one is only going to take a few minutes. Set a timer. Give yourself 10 minutes to do each one. You're done. Just take time to do what you can. We're talking baby steps here. We're not talking about cleaning the whole house in one day. And when you get through each one of these, look at the corner or the shelf or the nightstand that's cleaned off and take pride in what you did because you just accomplished something to bring peace into your, home. into your home. So that's what we're here to do for you. As we do it ourselves, we want to inspire you to do the same. So post your pictures of what you're pitching. Send us a message on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We're Two Real Chicks. That's how you can find us. There's also more information below. Now give this video a what? Thumbs up. Big thumbs up if you're all for decluttering your life in 2017. And thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. And again, tell us more of what you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and love yourself today and be proud of what you accomplish in the next hour. I'm Cindy. I'm Carla. And we're two real chicks saying goodbye. Bye.